I'm Nick Jaynes and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, a European space probe closes in on a comet, a drone goes for a very hot swim in Yellowstone Spring, and exactly how much is the fine for doing 246 in a 55? Officials with Europe's ESA Space Agency are rightfully excited as their 10-year-long Rosetta mission to rendezvous with a comet is literally getting closer to completion. On Wednesday, the ESA released these close-up photos of Comet Churium, Ma, Chur, uh, Molotov, let's just call it Comet 67P, which is barreling towards the sun at over 34,000 miles an hour. You'd think getting amazing shots like this would be enough, but no, there's more. Come November, a small probe will detach from Rosetta and actually land on the comet, which is about two miles wide. Now that's rocket science. Rosetta will hover around the comet as it sweeps around the sun, but don't worry, it's not coming anywhere near Earth. Just two months ago, national parks officials in the U.S. banned the use of drones inside park boundaries, much to the hue and cry of wannabe aviators, who said the restriction was unfair to their hobby. Seems the ban was a good call after all, because on Thursday, some tourists splashed down his quadcopter in the Great Prismatic Spring in Yellowstone National Park. We don't have video of the crash, because it's still on the drone, which is at the bottom of the 121-foot deep spring, where the water temperature is somewhere close to that of Satan's hot tub, caliente. Park officials are now worried that microbes on the sunken drone will muck up the bacteria in the spring, which gives the tourist attraction its famous color palette. Well, maybe they can just use a drone submarine to get it out. If you own a 1200 horsepower Bugatti Veyron Supersport, you probably can't drive 55 given a straight stretch of road. And we wouldn't have it any other way. But for this supercar to really stretch its legs, you need a lot of straight road, and that's just what the organizers of the Sun Valley Road Rally arranged recently. They closed off a lovely stretch of Highway 75 in Idaho and let drivers put the pedal down on their supercars, and the Bugatti dialed up a sizzling 246 miles an hour. It sounded more like a jet fighter than a car as it blew by its speed. That 246 mile an hour rip is actually below the car's more ludicrous 269 mile per hour top speed, but it's impressive nonetheless. So hey, McLaren, Hennessy, Koenigsegg, Lamborghini, and all the rest. Hopefully we'll see you next year in Idaho. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you next week.